everyone. Susan Gerbic here again from Psychics Explained. I guess Hamilton and I are going to uh, do another recording today. Um, you know, cats and the internet, what are you going to do about it? Not much. You just learn to ride with it. So what we're going to do is my first full video on the <clears throat> woman who called herself the psychic next door. I think she was medium next door. Her name is Maureen Hancock, H-A-N-C-O-C-K. And she was kind of a rising star at, for a while there back in 2012, 2013. There was a lot of potential for her. Her um, They had a trailer. You could see how the networks were kind of starting or the network that was focused on her was starting to kind of you know, give her some attention. She was getting the publicity <clears throat> needed. Get your towel on my face, Hamilton. And <laughs> she uh, she didn't end up going anywhere. I have a theory why I don't think she ended up going anywhere. And she was great. I mean, she couldn't talk to the dead and she pretended she could, but she had the energy. She had a beautiful look. She had, um, she was using humor. She was, um, just looked like she could be the next whoever the network wanted whichever network it was wanted her to be a star she had it <clears throat> they looked like they were really interested and didn't end up happening i mean she's still around she's still doing local shows and i think she has a cruise and some other things but what i'm going to share with you today this is a, a reading that uh, marine did <clears throat> for wwmj I-95 Bangers Classic Rock Station. And I just kind of chose it at random. And it is transcribed in my book. Uh, the book is called Grief Vampire. It is not out yet as of this recording. I'm still working through the final parts of it. But what we're going to do, we're going to listen to this. So you're going to see me and Hamilton here. I'm glad you hear Hamilton. You'll at least give people something to look at. <laughs> and... We're going to go through it. I think I'm going to break a couple times, not very many, to talk about what we're hearing in the reading. Now, if you hear something that I missed, please uh, make sure you uh, say so in the comments. So here we go. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Maureen. Who are you hoping to hear from today? My mom. Oh, my gosh. She wouldn't let anyone else in. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting in. I really like her energy. You know, I'm fine. Never mind about me. So not a complainer. I just heard I'm whole again. I just get oh, a super wow. close, super close connection. Like your best friend and you brought her everywhere and did everything together. I just see her right now. I want you to picture heaven like, you know, she's in gardens. And did we have chickens or did somebody have chickens? Actually, my neighbor has chickens. <laughs> Okay, so maybe when you're out in the gardens, like in the, the chickens are pooping everywhere. Um, she's right there. Okay, so stop because it's a short reading. So we want to intervene so that it's easier to remember what we're, we're talking about. So it's a call-in show. It was uh, uploaded to YouTube in May 20th, 2016. So it's been out for a while. I just kind of just grabbed a video. Um, and... Call-in shows, we know who is going to get read because there's a screener and the screener usually asks the person's name, where they're from, and possibly what it is they want to listen to, you know, who is it they want to hear from. But I don't think that's relevant that there's any hot reading going on here at all because it's pretty basic stuff. So the, the Tracy, who is the sitter, I don't know if she's sitting or not, <laughs> it's just the word they use. So uh, the sitter is uh, Tracy, and she is um, goes right up front with Maureen. I want to hear from my mom because that's right where right where Maureen goes to. Who do you want to hear from? And she says, "My mom." On phone readings like this, especially over the radio, they usually happen really fast because they want to try to get as many callers in as possible. So that's not unusual. Get to the point. Who it is that you want to hear from right away? Um, so Maureen is the type of medium that what she does is she uses a lot of humor. She tries to, she, I think she was calling herself a comedic 
um, psychic for a while or something like that. I don't find a lot of humor in it, but she gets these big crowds together in um, venues and she goes in and she entertains them. She's very active. She jumps around. She's um, uh, does a lot of hoaxy kind of stuff. Very, very, um, you know, just she downplays death a lot and she tries to get people to laugh. Of course, they're crying too, because of course she's going right in for the jugular. <clears throat> that's her style. And that's what's interesting about doing these kinds of recordings is because you get to see so many different styles from these different psychics. And it's, I find it interesting. I think it's fascinating whenever we can look at them in such depth like this. So first off, she says she's going to want to hear from her mom and Maureen comes right in with a bunch of information that we don't have a clue about is true or not. Well, Maureen doesn't have a clue if it's true or not. And she goes for something that usually people want to be true. They, that their mother is outgoing and talkative and, and fun. And she's looking over at you and so on. And what's this about chickens? What's this about chickens? I love chickens. So I've got, chicken stuff all over the place and my my mom loved chickens too it's just a chicken you know it's kind of a thing you know some people collect dogs some people collect frogs some people collect chicken stuff I, i've just loved chickens and so when she said do you have did you guys have chickens that's and the woman says no well that's a no that's a fail you didn't have chickens but we know that the sitters are trying to relate to whatever the medium is saying. Uh, it's motivated. They have, they're have they motivated to try to keep the psychic communicating with their dead person. If there's too many no's or if there's too much, um, you know, I'm not sure, then the medium's going to end the call and go to the next person because there's a line of people on this phone, I guarantee you. So the sitter is very motivated to continue the conversation um, to hang on to that little bit because she's obviously talking to my mom. So let's just, let me just reach out and help, help the psychic along and say, well, my neighbor had chickens. <laughs> That's not quite the same thing. Did you have chickens? No, your neighbor had chickens. So did she have chickens? All right. My neighbor had chickens. So I'm in the garden. Maureen says, okay, so maybe when you're out in the garden, the chickens are pooping everywhere. Um, that's what she's about to say. And that's kind of a, a hoaxy little thing that people like Maureen would say. They they like to make it, like I said, they like to make it flippant and like a fun kind of thing. So let's let's go to the to the recording again. Um, she's right there. Where did the two kids come in? Two or two of one sex? I have actually two sisters, but I also oh, have right. a brother. All right. It might be she wants to talk about your two sisters. Is one separated from you yeah <laughs> in fact a little dr phil session we got going on here but um i think that's what it is about you know you two together one is separate um she's praying for you all and i just heard if i was here this wouldn't be happening um but <laughs> is she is your mom funny she tells it like it is doesn't she maybe the whole mom now but yeah. not not when she was with us See, to be she whole had a again. Lot of issues. Oh, for her to say that though had to have touched your heart because she just feels vibrant to me and she was everybody's teacher. You know, when we come into this earth and have a lot of issues and challenges, everybody kind of learns from that, even if it's tough lessons. But she's oh, definitely really? your number yeah. one. Yeah, right. She's your number one guardian angel. You have dreams about her as well? Uh, occasionally. Yeah, this is going to spark one um, because she just showed me hugging you. So, uh, send me a message on my uh, Facebook fan page and let me know because I think that's going to happen soon. So lots of love. Keep talking to her. She's guiding you. And um, lots of love from the heavens above. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. You know. Okay, so what do you think that she got? Did she get anything? So I'm going to look at my notes here real quick. Of course, it was very, very quick. That's two minutes. Believe it or not, that's a whole two minutes. And she ends up saying something about um, where do two children come in, two of the same sex. And she says, Tracy says, I have two sisters and one brother. And then she's the third sister. So that means three girls and one boy. So not quite what uh, Maureen was saying. 
and Maureen, because she's very um, skilled at doing these kinds of cold reading, she just pivots and hopes that nobody really noticed or pays attention that that was a fail. And she says, oh, well, one of them is having a little bit of problems with the others, right? And, you know, it's family dynamics. Of course, you can probably figure that there's probably something going on. You know, the odds are good. And she says that, it, she, she again says, the mom would say, if she was here, that would not be happening. And then they all laugh. And, and then she says, is your mom funny? She tells it like it is, doesn't she? And Tracy says, she's going to give her, she's throwing her a bone. She says, maybe the whole mom now, but not when she was with us. What do you, What is this whole mom now? Is that a like a, a, a thing? I've never heard that phrase before. The whole mom. Does that mean they're talking about somebody who's on the other side? In other words, Tracy is probably, um, this is not her first reading and she's well into this this culture of of um, whole mom now. That's new. I've never heard that before. I don't know if that's a Maureen Hancock kind of thing. I'll have to pay attention to as I do more read, um, listen to more readings with her if she says that. And if so, then that probably means that Tracy is a um, Maureen Hancock follower. That's her thing. And that would make sense. Because like I said, all these psychics are a little bit different and they have their own verbiage and the way that they say things and that's possible. So I don't know, but I, I would keep an eye out for it too. So it was wrong. Your mom was not funny and she wasn't telling it like it is because Tracy says, no, that's not how she was in real life when she was here with us. So, and Tracy says she had a lot of issues. All right. Which Maureen didn't notice. And then it's a bunch of platitudes by hope that, you know, she's your number one guardian angel and and uh, that she's watching over you, all that other nonsense that they always say. And do you have dreams about her as well? Well, don't we all have dreams about somebody we were very close to who died? I mean, I have dreams even about people that didn't die that I'm close to. It's just like how we are as human beings. Of course, we have dreams about people. So that's just something you say that sounds good over the radium. Tracy says occasionally and Maureen says, well, you're going to start having them more often because I can feel her hugging you. Please go to my Facebook fan page and leave me a review, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it was really fast. Um, there was really nothing there. I mean, the chickens were a fail. How many siblings were in the family? That's a fail. Um, mom was a certain kind of personality. No, she wasn't that kind of personality. So there was a lot in there that was inaccurate. Now, another thing we always have to remember is what is it that was missing? And what is missing is, well, most of everything. She didn't know her mom's name. She didn't know how she died. She didn't know when her mom died. She didn't have any of the other siblings. Name the sibling that's the problem in the family. None of that was there. No messages. So it was pretty... It was pretty weak. And the chicken thing kind of sounds specific. But as I said, you know, we all probably hands up everybody out there who has some kind of relationship to a chicken. And, and I'm not talking about eating a chicken, but I'm talking about just chicken in general. I mean, my we had um, we had chickens growing up and um, we had, you know, just we had a big cookie jar that was a chicken and um, so that had a relationship in my life I'd sneak in and grab cookies out of the the chicken uh, ceramic bowl um, when I was when my children were young we had the front door open and our neighbor who had chickens had chickens wander into our living room one day and our my kids laughed about that for a very long time so there's always some kind of story about chickens so I just find that just one of those things that, that a psychic could say that seems specific but really in the, it's, it's not. So I think this is pure cold reading. I don't think there's any hot reading in this at all. It's kind of hard to hot read over a two minute thing over a, or the radio when you don't know who you're going to get. So cold reading is much more likely to be happening. And I think that um, Maureen's actually pretty good at it. I've, I've heard better stuff, but, but nothing like that. Um, nothing is this wasn't that bad it was it was okay 
So there's no mom's names, there's no siblings' names, there's no specific advice that Tracy has given. Um, we don't know anything about this guardian angel thing. I mean, how would you feel if Tracy is involved in something really awful and she thinks her mom, the guardian angel, is supposed to be watching her and something awful happens? I mean, why do people say stuff like that? How about this? How about Maureen's mom who's watching out for her, and Maureen's mom, sorry, Tracy's mom who's watching out for her and obviously so easy to connect to. Why don't she give her some life advice? You know, should you take that job? Should you quit the job? Who's going to win the Super Bowl uh, so she can bet on it? Or, you know, uh, who's who's going to win on the track and maybe um, make some real money? No, that's not there. She's, uh, it, <laughs> all she's giving her is a bunch of, chicken poop and then the listeners feel like it's so hoaxy so folksy that it must be real <laughs> so you know marine makes it sound like it's all this wonderful a life on the other side but we don't know that this is stuff she's making up she's messing with the memory that this woman has of her mother tracy's mother was messed up and she was not a fun and friendly person she didn't tell it like it was or like it is or um, when she was alive but now Tracy's going to be thinking of her mom in a different way and yes it is a pleasant thought that the mother's changed but it's not real it's a lie and I don't I find that demeaning and I just think that it's wrong to be lying to people just to make them feel better about about these situations so so to sum up uh, this is one of these these radio shows that um, give free publicity to the uh, medium. Um, these mediums are really able to do what they can do and continue having people to uh, to get a hook into because they're enabled. And a radio station like this is enabling her. There's no criticism. They're, they're putting it out there on the web. This only has 1,644 views, and it's been out since 2016. Marine is just not a draw. So I was going to tell you, um, I have a video on this, but I'll tell you this directly about Marine Hancock. We've researched her a lot. I have a whole chapter of her on in my book, Grief Vampire, that someday hopefully it will be out. And one of the things we not only realizes that she just seemed to have everything that was needed to be the next star in the psychic world, but she was doing a lot of um, working with the police or saying she's working with the police to find solve cases, find bodies, solve crimes and so on. And she was doing a lot of this. I think she even had a nonprofit that, was non-profit at least on paper i don't think it existed very long and or there was any cases solved but what ends up happening is is when a psychic is doing this kind of work naming names going out and putting putting their opinion out there of what happened with a missing person then someday that missing person may be found and proved wrong. They'll be found alive after the psychic has said they're dead, or maybe they're going to be found dead when the psychic said they're alive, or they're going to be found and it's not going to have anything that the psychic had said was true. And if that happens, you know, in this world that we live in right now, social media is going to eat them alive. And when these networks, whatever network is that invests in one of these psychic mediums, they put a lot of money in there, okay? They they have to uh, do a lot of promotions for them. They, um, you know, get a lot of these Hollywood type uh, fluffy articles written about them doing interviews. And it's just uncritical, just total promotional stuff. There's a lot of money and time that goes into that. So they do not want something hanging over their head. What is the Dam sword of Damocles hanging over the head of, of a psychic medium like this? That any day now, the one of those missing cases that somebody like Maureen Hancock has come forward and said, oh, yes, this is what happened. This is what I feel happened. This is what I think happened. 
it's going to just ruin her career and all that money that the networks have put invested in it maybe they're in the middle of a tv show for her uh, a promotion of some sort it's just going to go as the internet just eats her alive it 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 is not pretty we saw it happen with uh, Sylvia Brown uh, years ago, whenever she did this. But um, now I think it would be a lot more um, difficult to recover your career. So that's why I think that Maureen Hancock probably didn't get a show that the that the network that was thinking of doing a show on her gave her a pass. And that that's what I think. Now, so if I missed anything on this article, I mean in this video, please you know, comment in there. I'd really like to hear what you think. And of course, if you have the any good footage or readings or video or audio like this, I'd be happy to analyze it for the channel. Just go ahead and send me an email, Susan Gerbic at um, gmail.com will get a hold of me. You can also contact me on Facebook Messenger. I'm real responsive to Facebook Messenger. And that's it for Maureen for the moment.